What's going on YouTube? Uncle Olu checking in. Today I just want to talk to y'all about overnight success. Let's go. Alright, look, so we had, we had me and my brother Doc James, we put together a little workout video and I'll link that above right here but uh every Saturday really for the last five years we hit the park on we hit the park here in Houston right get a little hit in uh, it's, it's there was a couple years from 18 to 19 it was inconsistent it wasn't happening group fell apart so on and so forth but those Saturday hit workouts wasn't happening. He still was working out, right? So in that in that hit video, you can clearly see if you know if you know Doc James for more than five years, you can clearly see his body's changed. He he's put in the work, right? Somebody he didn't tell me who, but we had a discussion about. The perception of like overnight success and how people think you just it just comes easy when it comes to this working out thing or or there's always shortcuts involved and somebody made a comment to him they said uh hey, you got so fast. <laughs> I'm sure knowing the kind of guy he is he had that conversation probably with a lot of grace but in the conversation we had kind of a slap in the face man <laughs> when you be honest about it kind of a slap in the face because his transformation was anything but fast like got a sports background so you got that competitive drive in you the ego's there military guy so he's trained in that aspect he served and nothing he has or has obtained ever came easy and it is no different with his results he has right now he's in better shape now than he was two years ago and of course in better shape now than he was when he got serious about it back in 2015 2015 came in and it was like started all the way over it was pretty much at, at square one but there's this when you're on the outside looking in there's this there's this belief that just comes quick or just comes easy like nah man <laughs> it don't work that way it, it, to tell somebody who's been busting his ass, the way he's been busting his ass, day in and day out that man you gotta shape quick it's borderline disrespectful I mean five six seven days a week in the gym on top of the hit workouts on Saturdays on top of the cardio he does throughout the week leading up to Saturdays on top of the the, the strict dieting and, and, and knowing what you put in your body and how it fuels you and water intake and getting the rest and keeping the toxins out it's, there's a lot that goes into it stretching so if you think that that type of work that type of results comes from just some type of overnight some, some magic pill you got another thing coming. You got another thing coming. It takes time, man. Uh, part of what I'm doing right now for me personally is, is I wanna I wanna document my transformation because the last time I didn't, and I got I got a lot of the same stuff. Like people were telling me back in 2015, like, man, you always been in shape. It's easy for you, blah blah blah. But I'm like, bro, you didn't see me in, in, in 13 and 14. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You just you just you just see what I had to come from in 13 and 14 to get to where I was in 2015. So now that I'm in my head completely off the wagon starting back at it I wanted to document it just to show like it takes time, it takes consistency you're going to have naysayers and everybody that's a naysayer, not they're not necessarily hating on you, some people just don't understand why you may be focused on what you're doing they don't get it, they don't see it as something that's necessary Like, I don't know, what do you spend all that time in the gym for I had somebody tell me one time uh Everybody don't want to be obsessed with working out. That's cool. You know what I mean? You don't have to be obsessed with it. Uh, but if you want to do something to change your lifestyle, you got to kind of find an obsession about it, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I got 
family members having strokes and people losing their mobility and it's like when I come to the gym, we got a guy in the gym and he's like 70 years old. And <laughs> a beast, but he it just doesn't stop, you know what I mean? I mean you're not always gonna be everybody not trying to be bodybuilders and this is regular guy fitness, you know what I'm saying? We just out here just trying to live life, man. That's it. But you gotta be you gotta find something that keeps you in tune, something that keeps you balanced. And if it's if you want to call that obsession, then call it obsession, bro. You know, uh, but don't don't discredit the grind by trying to tell a guy who's been killing it for five years straight, day in and day out, that he got in shape quick. Cause it wasn't quick. I mean, we talk about it all the time. I'm about to get him on camera talking about it, but we talk about it all the time, man. I remember when when he came to me, he was like, "Yo, man, I'm gonna start working out with you. I'm trying to get back in shape." And I was like, let's start, let's go, right? He's like, no, 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 no. It was it was probably April 2015. He was like, no, I'm gonna start, it's gonna be in June, June 1st. I remember thinking to myself at the time, like, man, you ain't trying to do nothing. You 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 wanna wait a month, two months to get started. And you ain't trying to do nothing. You just like everybody else. I'm gonna talk about it. I'm gonna have a conversation about it, but you're not really trying to put the work in. On June 1st, he drove from inside the city in the Heights, out here to Wild Minute close to Cyprus and he was doing that five day, five six days a week for that first year consistently get off work drive out here we get a good two hours in and he just he took off he took off so there's no shortcuts man don't disrespect the, don't disrespect the ground like that no shortcuts it ain't happen quick my boy put the work in that's my brother uh again shout out Doc James man I gotta get him on here sometime to explain this story because it's it's an incredible story. I got a couple partners, uh, fitness and otherwise, career-wise, lifestyle-wise, just the journeys they're on, the, the, the paths they're taking now. Proud of them boys, man. So uh, keep going, but uh, ain't no shortcuts. Peace. About to get it in, baby. We know with my boy. Get this session in. No excuse session. Good to see you, man. See you too, dog. Got the GoPro going. Got this With this, le this leg day. Just about to get it in right here. Little leg day. Start with some squats. Pyramided. Light, high reps. Heavy. Uh, low reps. Throw some intervals in between there. Just tear it up. Shoppers, better took those risks, cool, but in my fist we fire starters, starters I uh, wanna live a million more reach those heights Always get a feeling that I won't deny that one Never could die, look in my eyes, I'm on the rise, rise. Surprise. 